my name is Kasaya, and I am a co-founder of Shrew Meats, right here. Not sure if you've heard or seen it or not, but um, we are a mushroom-based meat alternative, the only product in the market, and um, these actually founded, got founded in my kitchen because I've been cooking for my mom for a long, long time, and um, just spending the majority of my time there got me to explore with shiitake mushroom, and um, that became the idea of why not using mushroom as a meat alternative because we spend so much time making mushroom in our food, but you know we have to wash and then doing all the process. But um, we came up with the idea that why not making it easier? And also it's hearty and meaty. We use really simple ingredients in it. It's super easy. You can use that for anything in your dish, wherever you come from. So um, I'm really excited to show you guys how to cook um, a curry katsu Japanese dish with shrimp meat today. And I am in the background because we are practicing our social distancing. <laughs> we are at least six feet away from We are at least, right well actually more actually honey. Um, I got, this is Queen Shan Shan. Hey y'all. We are doing our first live tutorial, but it's not really live because this is going to be obviously edited and perfected. And Desaya, thank you for coming over. Thank you for having me here. Thanks for being social distancing what? queens. We're like, oh. <laughs> there you go. That, that's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> Yeah, no, then we're good. We're good. We're not. And you have, and let's cheer because I'm I already drank my glass of wine. But cheer us, cheer the audience, Miss Desaya, and I would like say to cheers with everyone. Yes. And, um, hope everyone is staying safe. And I know you guys are doing a lot of home cooking at home. And um, just enjoy this time. You know, I know there's good and bad from it. Um, the most important thing is that we keep ourselves safe and everyone safe. This is absolutely like, because we're all connected. And all right, all right, Miss Desaya, what are we making and what are the ingredients? So today we're making a really, really simple and easy dish, um, which is katsu uh, curry, Japanese, ka Japanese katsu curry bowl. There we go. And um, I'll just take my cleanses out of the way too. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it very naturally. Um, what you what you need is really simple ingredients right here, but most importantly, you need shrimp meat patties. And we're gonna deep fry the whole thing, and I'll show you how to season that before you deep fry them. Um, and then for the curry, you're gonna need, I'm using potato and carrots today, but to be honest, you can use anything like you can use spinach or you can use peas, chickpeas, or it really depends on your home recipe. So whatever veggies you think is the best nutrition for you, throw it in. What about spinach, kale, yeah. cauliflower? Mushroom. Okay, or, great. Mm -hmm. Well, cause we're so, so let's be honest and let's tell people the shrew meats are just out of a mushroom, mushroom mixture, correct? Yes. Which so, makes it plant-based. Yes, yes. It's 100% vegan and plant-based and gluten-free and um, we only have six ingredients in here unlike the, a lot of meat alternatives out there. Um, there's a big list of ingredients but we want to make sure that this is natural for your body and we're really just keeping it simple. So, Got it. So moving on to the next ingredients, um, we're having, oh we have the miso paste and I'll show you how to make that. Um, we have kimchi and we have, I'm calling this the secret ingredient, but basically I got the um, curry instant like little blocks from the store. Is it curry paste? Curry, it's like curry paste, but like it's really, it's really condensed, it's like a block. Um, so you can get this from the store or you can make it from scratch as well. I'm sure you can find a bunch of ingredients and um, I mean recipe from YouTube. Okay, so. and then um, the curry paste is, um, Something you can just buy also at any store. You can even buy it at like a, your regular grocery store. You don't need to go to an Asian market. You can go to any, right. like basically it's so popular that you can get it at any grocery store. Right, yeah, you can just go to the Asian section. Or, um, again, like you can make this from scratch. I think there's ketchup, there's some um, honey, miso paste, and a few other ingredients, I'm not sure, but look it up. Okay. Um, so, and then um, to deep fry the patties today, we're gonna need all-purpose flour, um, the breadcrumbs, and an egg. Show us the breadcrumbs you got. Yeah. How much breadcrumbs yeah. do you think you need? You need about a cup for, even less than a cup, but you know, to make sure that everything's coated. Got for it. For one pack of shrew meat packs. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then just a, like a half a cup of flour? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then yeah. one egg? And then one egg, yes. Awesome. Yeah, and to be honest, usually I do not measure. <laughs> And a lot of people are like, oh, give me some uh, ingredient, uh, ingredients and recipes. I'm like, you know what? 
just do it. You just hand do it. You yes. just hand drop it. If you have enough, great. If you don't have enough, add more. Perfect. <laughs> That's what cooking is all about. It's about creating. You don't need to stick 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 right. to a strict regimen, right? Right. Right. Just just explore. All right, honey. Okay. All, all right. right. Let's get going. All right. Before the preparation, what are you doing now, Desaya? So what I would really like to show everyone is how to use shrimp meat patties and balls. And they're basically made of the same ingredients, but um, just think of it as when you buy a chicken from the store, um, what you need is to thaw it out and then season it. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the package. So this is frozen. And um, it's really hard. Do not drop it on your foot because that happens to me. <laughs> Hurt so much. You dropped but it on your foot. It was so because like, like, it weighs a lot, right? It weighs a lot. And listen, like it's really hard. Um, <laughs> so do not drop it. Um, but this is what it looks like. And usually, how to thaw it out is to I put a hot water in a bowl and then I just keep it running for a little bit. Just let it soak there. Or you can do it overnight in the fridge or do it outside. What about microwave? Microwave would work too. Actually, you only need one minute. So if you're like on a go and you're like, oh, I want to cook for me right now, right now, put it in the microwave. Okay. That would work. Cool. Okay. So um, we have the one that's already thawed out. This back. So it's gonna like soften up a little bit. Nice. Yeah. So we're gonna leave that on the side for now, and um, we're gonna start cooking with the curry. Okay. And then what are you doing with the vegetables? How are you preparing pre preparing the vegetables? So you want to cut all of these? I'm gonna wash all of them now, and you basically want to cut them in little dices and just throw them in the pot with the curry paste and just let it cook. Okay, great. So, Desaya, what have you done so far to our veggies? So, I just killed it <laughs> by cutting them off in dices. And it's super easy. You can just like, you know, make small pieces, big pieces, whatever you want to bite or chew it. Okay. So we cut up the carrots, we cut up the potato, mm -hmm. and then um, you're thawing the meat. We're thawing the meat. Yes. Um, and then, so what are you doing over here on the stove? On the stove right here, we have a boiling water um, being ready to have all these veggies go in. Okay. Together with the curry paste. Wonderful. Real quick, what's going on? You're from Thailand, right? Yes, I am originally from Thailand. And how is your your family doing right now during this time? They're doing great. Um, Thailand's handling it really well. Like when when it started, Thailand was actually one of the um, the first countries who got infected so fast because of tourism. But um, now we closed the border, and we have just been um, really checking individuals. You know, um, taking more taking it more and more seriously so um i think mentally people are doing better um are they opening there, businesses i'm sorry are there businesses open businesses are um restaurants are closed now i'm, I'm not restaurants sure about are still other, closed yeah i'm not sure about other businesses i need to check with my family but i know every convenience store has a person who like checks your temperature they actually you check in. the temperature before they yeah. go to the store right and right. everybody has to wear a mask Yes, yes. If you, so if you don't wear a mask, you are not allowed in the store because you could get other people infected. How's your mom? My mom is doing great. Um, she is a teacher actually and she has switched from offline to online now. She doesn't have to drive. Like millions of other teachers? Right, yeah. And um, she's just super excited about it and she's super excited to get her makeup on and like get dressed up. <laughs> but still like, be, you know, maybe wear pajamas, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so... We've been fine. Um, I'm all the way over here, and um, I think we're really lucky to have a roof over our head and um, still have. We are so grateful, aren't we? We are. Yes, yes, yes. And um, and I was talking to Shannon about a documentary I watched the other day called Tales by Light, and it's on Netflix. And this is not sponsored or anything. Obviously but, uh, not. I just love Honey, it. Honey, if I was sponsored by Netflix, I'd be in a mansion <laughs> right now. This is not sponsored. Mansion guys. time. We're like luxury. Anyways, um, <laughs> so anyways. Um, this photographer was doing a documentary about kids in need in Bangladesh and some of them are abandoned and they have to work at the age of seven. They don't have time to go to school and they have to support themselves. They don't have a place to sleep. They don't have shoes. They have to sell trash. So, you know, it's like if we're looking at other lives around the world, there's, there's, it's a big spectrum and I think we 
in the US here are really, really lucky to have a roof over our head and just, you know, yes. more than enough food we can eat. So, um, so it's time to appreciate your life and people around you and you never know what could happen tomorrow. Preach, so. girl. Preach. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So now I'm going to add all the veggies that I cut up into the pot together with the curry paste. Okay. So Let's do it. Yeah. It's so easy to throw everything in and just let it cook. Don't forget though, because I've done that so many times. So Social distancing, viewing. I feel, I feel so, I feel so awkward now because I do love cooking, but I'm like the worst at timing. <laughs> okay. And then, and then once the curry is being cooked, I will show you guys how to make the shun. Patty's um, katsu. Okay. Yeah. And let's show the audience exactly what this curry paste looks like. So here we go. Let me get that open. So it almost looks like the miso. So it's like eyeshadow, you know, you just like put it on. And yeah, right. You know? <laughs> Definitely eyeshadow, but it smells like curry. So, um, so it looks like that. And you can just basically read the um, serving portions and how much water you need for like each block. Okay. I'm just gonna throw this whole thing in for, honestly, I don't know how much water I put in, but I'm just like rolling. Everything's I. <laughs> You're not being super yeah. strict with measurements. Yes. So you can break it up like that. And then you just wanna like add each one in. And then I'm gonna stir it up. Um. I'm gonna have to borrow your um, borrow, honey. Your that. Get anything you want in this kitchen. This yeah. is Queen Chan Chan's quick kitchen. <laughs> and then you just wanna stir it in. Now I will leave that cooking for about 10 minutes while I make the um, shrimp patties, and then we'll see. Perfect. All right, Miss Desaya, what are you doing now? So with the shrimp patties, um. We want to season both of the patties with a little bit of miso first. So that's going to be the first layer that goes in. And what is miso? Miso. Miso is a soybean paste. Um, I think it's originally from China and then it got influenced to um, different regions near um, the area. So you can look it up. So we want to. You're putting miso paste? Uh, yes. On the patties. On the patties. And these are defrosted patties. Yes. Okay. So um, uh, another thing about shrew meats products is that it's not, um, it's really mildly seasoned. If you eat it without seasoning, it's gonna be really bland. And you know, like like I said, it works like chicken. You wanna season it with um, anything that you like. And with the miso paste, it's gonna make it a little bit salty. Okay. You're massaging that patty. What's up, Patty? Getting it, Getting it in, honey. So you're putting the miso on the the patties, the uh, shroomy patties. Yes. And then what's next? And then we want to dip it in the flour. Oh, easy. And that should be like more than enough flour. Oh, I love you. Have your glass glass of wine because we're real here. We're real. We're here. Yes. We're real here at A Brad Podcast, honey. Yes. A Brad Productions. We don't care. We have cocktails when we drink and <laughs> eat and cook. <laughs> you know what? I forgot to beat the egg. So oh, um, do that's, it. That's gonna be. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be another Danish too. Because you want to get that coating wet before you dip it in the breadcrumbs. Okay. Dip it in the egg. Make sure everything is coated because it could be a little tricky. And then you want to dip it in the breadcrumb. Maybe this bowl is too small, so um, make sure you guys get like the right size <laughs> for yourself so you don't make a mess. <laughs> if you want to make a mess, that's fine. It's your kitchen. It's your kitchen, honey. We don't have any rules here. Exactly. There's no rules. <laughs> so, all done. This is ready to be cooked. I'm going to make another. Perfect. 
All right, what's <laughs> up, Mr. Saya? So uh, this is done. The patties are coated with three layers and um, they are ready to be in the pan. You want to heat up the oil right here for about, now I'm going to be precise, 325 to 300. 150 around that um you want to make sure it's well i don't have a temperature gauge how would i know by putting a drop of water yeah. in it yeah yep. you can put like a, a chopstick or you can just um throw in a breadcrumb like this should be fine so that's good let's see i'm gonna put like that's a nice test on. That's a nice tester right there. I always put water, and if it sizzles and burns my face off, I know it's ready. Oh my god, <laughs> that's the worst. That's the worst. So I always try to wrap my arms before I do that. I'm so scared. All right, now let's do a lot of oil get like a smaller pan um, or even a pot for your patty so you can actually have um, the same amount of oil but like you know it gets a little bit thicker okay I mean less amount of oil <clears throat> and what we, we just use canola oil yes. but is it okay if people like to use olive oil um no I don't think olive oil is great for deep fry so okay. I recommend the canola oil or avocado oil is even avocado or oil even sunflower oil okay um, so not so not for deep frying. You don't want to use oil, olive oil, right, yeah. but a canola oil. So if you look at that, oh my God. there we go. If you look at that, some part burns, and it's because I set the temperature a little too high. So I turn it down now to okay. like medium to low. So you want to keep it like around that. So this is what the flame looks like. And how's that other pot going? Show the audience how the other pot's going. The blue and be careful. It's hot. Are you ready? Huh. Here we go. It's Ooh. being cooked right now, almost done. Um, I do like the potatoes and the carrots kind of soft and mushy. So it really depends how long you want to leave it in there. Okay. I would leave it for like up to half an hour. Half an hour? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm on like a low heat, you know, so like it keeps cooking. Okay. And then I don't know. I just I, I like that potatoes make it more starchy in the soup. Okay. So Got it. Like. All right. All right. All right, what's going on over there? So our patties are done. It's golden and crispy, and um, and you will know when it's done. It doesn't take long. Um, I almost burned it, so don't burn <laughs> it too long. It looks awesome. It's in the kitchen, if you guys, like, oh, my kitchen smells amazing. That's my work right there. Uh, it's all good, oh, girl. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna leave the patties here right now while we wait for the curry to cook. So they have so, to, so they're resting. Yes, yeah, so they are gonna rest there um, before we serve. We'll cut it up in little pieces. But let's see our curry. I'm bringing in my Ooh, looks so good. my three foot here you go. camera <laughs> social distancing. It looks great. It looks delicious. I do want to leave it in there for maybe like five more minutes. Okay. On low heat. And mm -hmm. then these what the patties look like. Yum. Yum. And she's got her glass of wine here on the side, honey. Right next to the peeler. Right next to the peeler. What are you going to do with that kimchi? I can't wait to sh you to yes. show us what we're going to do with the kimchi. This, this is kind of a mix. I don't, um, I don't think originally they used kimchi on the sides. Like they use like fermented radish or or ginger, but I'm um, using kimchi for now because that's what I have in the fridge and we're just gonna go for what we have. Right on, honey. <laughs> this is COVID-19! Yeah. We, we use what we have so we don't have to go to keep going to the grocery store. And I wanted to show you guys in the box, um, the rice, so I'm using Japanese rice. It's nice and shiny. Mm. Yes. Work. Now we're almost ready to eat. It's been an hour and I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Our curry's done. Um, I'm still leaving it on low, or you can turn it off. Uh, 
but I'm just gonna keep it warm. Okay. And then we have the Japanese rice right here. Okay. So we'll do a little scooping off it. I'm gonna make it as creamy as I can for you, Shannon. All right. <laughs> no complaints here, honey. We're getting free food. We do not complain Yay. about free food. Look at the patties, how cute they look. <laughs> look at those patties, Patty. So, rice on the plates. I, I love carbs, so I basically am going to eat all of this. <laughs> right? Carbs are so good. Unfortunately, um, people who are on like, you know, Atkins or keto or a no carb diet, you can eat this obviously without the rice, right? Right, yeah, you can use quinoa or just potatoes too. Yeah. There are a lot of options right now um, out there for everyone who is restricted to If you guys don't want, woo, so for the my, videos, my video skills are not the greatest. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slice up the patties. You can see how crispy it is. Yum! Yay. That's our little garbage, our garbage bowl right here. When she, <laughs> when she did the, uh, the cutting of the veggies. I'm not showing you guys the burn side, so. <laughs> so we'll keep it pretty still. Oh my God, it smells so good. My camera thing is oriented. They're like, oh my God, Shannon is the worst videographer. Yes, I am. This is my first time doing this, y'all. So right. bear with me. Right, ready? Yes. And petty on the plate. Ooh. It looks like chicken katsu. It literally yeah. looks like chicken katsu. Yeah, it does. And you know, whatever meat you're cutting back, you can basically use true meat to replace whatever you make at home, so. All right, let's ready. And then I am going to turn this off first. Okay. Because we don't want to burn gas. All right, this is stuff for you later. Alrighty, this is a curry. Oh my God, that looks so bomb. Oh my God. Bomb ass. Yes. Now you wanna put this onto your plate, make it beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is huge. It got bigger than I thought. <laughs> this is huge. This is gonna last me until like tomorrow. Well, that's what she said. Ah. Ah. Agreed. <laughs> Our soup and leftover for the rest of the week. Wow, that looks really oh, good, Desire. Thank you. Now, last but not least, the garnish. Mm -hmm. You just wanna make everything pretty. Just throw it in. I don't have any method for this, so just do whatever. Just do whatever. Do. do whatever you need to do. And, done. Dinner is served. Hunt. <laughs> and we are going to dig in from now on. Yes. Now. That looks amazing! Thank you! Here, I want you to do it. Thank you! Well, we gotta do social distancing but, pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Moment of truth. I'm so excited. I'm not going to. Moment of truth. Okay. It's hot. Here, <laughs> it's so hot. Are you guys ready? Oh my god. Did you guys hear that crunch? Here. Hear the crunch. I'm poking it so you can hear it. That is your your Japanese katsu right there, honey. Yes. If you want that and, crunch. And if you look at the, the <laughs> texture of shroom meats, you will see that Perfect. it's really fibery and that's from the mushroom. Okay. Take a bite. Take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> oh my God, it's so literally, literally don't care about this video right now. So good. That's my plate and oh. Desaya. I'm gonna sit right here and eat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Get it, 
girl. When you know you enjoy your own cooking. Like, what's your favorite on the plate right now? What's your favorite? A crunch beef. What? Put in my mouth. It's so good. Oh social distancing God. eating and social distancing cooking, honey. That's what we do in the COVID era. Mm -hmm. Work. Thank you so, so much. Let's repeat on how people can get the shrew meats. Let me, let me. I'm six feet away from Desaia, so don't you guys stress out. So we have shrew meat patties and we have the shrew meat balls and the, we have also the dietary nutritional facts in the back. There's actually some really cool recipes in the back of the packages too. Yeah. So great idea. And um, again, it's distributed by Friendly Foods, but they want to be on Instagram and follow. How do you follow Shroom Meats? So you can go on Instagram and type in Shroom Meats with one M and you will find us. And there's a bunch of recipes on there also on our website www.shrimeats.com.co uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you will find us on there and if you have any recipes you want to share we would love 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 to just you know shout out and um, just share together all the food that we have absolutely thank you Desaya you're welcome thank you Shroom Meats and we are so grateful that you're in our kitchen <laughs> six feet away being like, social distancing <laughs> <laughs> and trust this this floor was just mopped today. Floor is today. So you're a good man. Thank you so much for Thank you.